On most weekday mornings, you can find Jim Gass putting his muscles to work at Project Walk in Carlsbad. Good. One more time right there. Project Walk is sort of like a gym, but for people dealing with varying degrees of paralysis. My goal is to be able to transfer from this chair to a bed without using a lift. And right now I can't do that. Gass had a stroke at the age of 60. It robbed him of the use of his left arm and leg. He could still do a bit of walking with the help of a cane and a leg brace, but his career as a lawyer, his love of traveling the world, his active lifestyle, all of that came to a screeching halt. I got interested in treatment, and it turned out that stem cell appeared to be what everybody was focused on as the treatment for the future for stroke. Through online searches, Gas came across inspiring stories about stroke patients who went abroad for stem cell treatments. Well, I saw one on John Brody. He used to be the quarterback for the San Francisco 49ers. When I was growing up, he was my hero. Brody, another stroke victim, was said to have been greatly helped by stem cells. Later, hockey legend Gordie Howe and former NFL quarterback Bart Starr would be the subjects of similar stories. The company that made the stem cells reportedly used in the treatment of all three famous former athletes is San Diego-based Stemmedica. In an interview from 2010, Stemmedica CEO Maynard Howe discussed John Brody's treatment. Yeah, John had a miraculous recovery. He's back playing golf now, he's got his speech back, and, and uh, John travels all over the world by himself. Gas decided to reach out to Stemetica. He had already gone to China and Argentina for stem cell treatments years before. He says those treatments didn't seem to help, but they didn't seem to hurt. So he decided to give stem cells another shot. I would say it was active and aggressive, as aggressive as I could be at finding a therapy that might work. Stemetica referred Gas to a Tijuana doctor named Cesar Amescua. In Tijuana, he received Stemetica's adult stem cells intravenously. Gas says he also received injections into his spine containing another company's fetal stem cells. He says after the injections, he was told to wait a few months for signs of improvement. I started to feel changes, but they were not good changes. I started to feel pain in my back. When his doctors in Boston discovered what was causing the pain and worsening his paralysis, they were shocked. None of us had seen anything like it. Dr. Aaron Berkowitz says they found a tumor-like growth in Gass's spine, near the site where Gass says he received fetal stem cell injections. Genetic analysis revealed that the growth was partly made up of cells from another human being. Berkowitz co-authored a paper in the New England Journal of Medicine to raise awareness of what can go wrong when patients engage in a process often called stem cell tourism. We could point very tangibly to a very uh, important risk that patients should be aware of um, before pursuing something like this. Stemetica spokesman Dave McGugan defends the company's practices. Through our clinical trials in the United States and outside of the United States, well over 500 patients have been treated since 2009. And we haven't had a serious adverse event. McGugan initially told KPBS that Stemetica never referred Jim Gass to any treatment he may have received in Tijuana. In an on-camera interview, KPBS showed him emails contradicting this assertion. Shortly afterwards, McGugan asked a fellow Stemetica employee to look at the emails. Still wearing a KPBS microphone, he told her this. So clearly, our, what we've been saying as a statement of fact has been incorrect. The following day, Stemetica executives confirmed that Gas was in fact treated intravenously with Stemetica's adult stem cells. Cesar Amescua also initially said he did not recall ever having treated Gas, but an iPhone video taken in Tijuana clearly shows Gas receiving an injection from Amescua. In case there's any question about Cesar what's Amescua. going into Gas's vein, Amescua points to the syringe and says, Amescua later confirmed that he did find hospital records pertaining to Gas. McGugan says Stemetica provides patients with information about clinical trials, but never promises to cure them. The company is sponsoring a number of trials overseen by scientists at reputable institutions within the U.S., but Stemetica could not provide published data from any of its human trials. Scripps Research Institute stem cell scientist Gene Loring says any company promoting stem cell treatments should be able to prove their cells are safe and effective in humans. If they had really good results, they would publish them because that would be like the best marketing strategy. Loring also questions any trial that requires patients to pay large sums of money to participate. Jim Gass paid $30,000 for each of his two separate treatments in Tijuana. He has advice for patients thinking about saving up for similar treatments. I would say don't do it. 
look at me. You don't want to spend the rest of your life in a wheelchair. I don't either. In part two of this story, we'll take a closer look at Stemetica's leadership, including people who used to work at a bottled water company that faced accusations of trading on junk science. David Wagner, KPBS News.